So if you're traveling up high or down low, you may want to download some offline games that you can play wherever you may go. I'm talking about games that work even on airplane mode and even when there's no Wi-Fi or mobile data available. And best of all, all of these games are free. Here are my top 10 best free offline games for iOS and Android. I've carefully selected these so that each one is unique in his style of gameplay. So there's a little something here for everyone. Let's kick this off with one of the easiest to recommend games of them all. It's My Friend Pedro. It's a side scroller shooter with beautiful cartoonish animations and an excellent soundtrack to match. The slingshot style game mechanics take a little bit of getting used to it first, but once you get the hang of them, you'll be sliding around, bouncing off of walls and flying through the air whilst dual wielding pistols, taking out bad guys. And if you really practice your skills, you'll be just like John Wick in no time. And if you're a pro player, you'll probably complete this game in around four hours. But if you're a perfectionist and you wanna get maximum stars on every level, you can get lots of replay value out of this one, but you will need to learn to rack up multipliers by chaining together kills, and it's not that easy. And trust me, you won't be disappointed with my friend Pedro. Okay, here's a unique game. It's a shooter, but more specifically, it's an ADS FPS. For those of you not familiar with games like this and what these letters mean, it means it's an aim down sight first person shooter. Disclaimer, it is particularly graphic, so look away if you're scared of digital blood and violence. But if you're fully aware that this is indeed a fictional game, then keep watching. Sniper 3D is a really nice looking sniper game that's easy to play, it's free to play, and it can be played offline, although it will constantly remind you of the paid features that will help you progress quicker, but feel free to ignore those because you can earn money and diamonds, which can then be used to level up your sniper rifles the old fashioned way. The variety of attachments and upgrades is impressive and you will need to upgrade them as the game becomes more and more challenging as you progress. And a little word of advice that I found out the hard way, make sure you've downloaded the missions before you go off the grid or switch on airplane mode because it doesn't download everything automatically all at once. So this one is an open world game set in Japan with anime style graphics. It is an over the shoulder third person slasher with a difference. You can tackle enemies head on with massive swords, but you can also take a more stealthy approach like a true ninja. This game has a lot of depth to it. Your weapons can be upgraded and even become dull if you use them too much, which means you have to repair them. There are plenty of abilities and finishing moves and weapons to unlock as you progress through the game and the storyline is really well thought out. Graphically, it's one of the most eye-pleasing games here in this list. One thing I do need to bring your attention to is that at various points in the game with the free version, it will give you the option to watch ads to unlock various items and upgrades. If you're on airplane mode or you've got no Wi-Fi or data, you won't have the option to watch these ads, which means you can't unlock those things. But the upside is you didn't have to watch the ads. So that's kind of a win, but just keep that in mind. Okay, this one's for you if you consider yourself a forward thinking person with a strategic military mind and you have the unique ability to make the right decisions time after time, like hitting that subscribe button and the bell notification. Okay, I'm only joking. Seriously now, this one is called 1942 Pacific Front and you'll never guess what year it's based in. In this game, you can choose the American forces or the Japanese forces. It's a turn-based strategy game that involves commanding boats, submarines, warplanes, vehicles, and the boots on the ground. It may look like a walk in the park, but make no mistake, 1942 Pacific Front will test your wits. And in my opinion, the graphics are good enough for a game of this style. And I do believe this is the perfect choice for anyone who loves strategy games. There are literally hours upon hours of strategic gameplay fun to be had here. Try it out, see what you think. Okay, this one is one of the most addictive games on the list. It's a diamond in the rough, when it comes to free offline games. You have to set aside a little time for this one as the first few levels are training courses and there's quite a bit to learn. Once you learn the controls and how to play, you have my word, this one is great fun. You control this little squadron of mouse-like minions in gas masks, you get them to operate and repair the weaponry and you can even send them into battle on foot. It really is entertaining. It's a tactical strategy game, but you can see it's very different from 1942 Pacific Front. The graphics are best described as Angry Birds style. The animation and sound effects and music make Redcon very immersive and it will keep you engaged for a long time. Honestly, this game is the perfect way to waste some time on a long journey. And remember, the time you enjoy wasting 
was not wasted. And if anybody could tell me where that quote comes from in the comments, you'll get a digital gold medal. Okay, all of the games so far have had guns in them, but none of them are proper shooters like this one is. This is called the Anti-Terrorist Squad. It's a third person shooter, which has some nice graphics and pretty straightforward objective, like blow things up and shoot everybody and chew bubblegum. Only there's no bubblegum in this game. It's got a nice cover and fire mechanic to it. And you can just run in like Rambo if you want to without taking cover, but you probably won't last long. One thing I will say about this game is it lacks a proper aim down sight graphic, but you know what? It really doesn't need it. If you like that aim down sight look, the Sniper 3D game I mentioned earlier might be more ideal for you, but I consider this game to be more of a fast paced arcade style game with short but action packed levels. And there is some replay value here if you finish it quickly. If you play it again, you can challenge yourself by racking up higher scores once you get the hang of the aiming and get the hang of not getting shot. So if you're the type of person not willing to negotiate with terrorists and you like third person shooters, try out the anti-terrorist squad. Okay, I told you all the games were gonna be unique. If you're looking for a game that keeps your eyes locked to the screen and one that is as entertaining as it is challenging, Car X Rally will put your car handling skills to the test. If you have ever played Forza Motorsport before, you will love this one. It has a similar racing line graphic. Something that I really like about this game is the controller options that you have. You can use an actual game controller or you can use the on-screen buttons. And if you're not worried about elbowing the person sitting next to you on a plane in the face, you could use the gyroscope controls. Also, the game will prompt you if your device is capable of scaling up the graphics beyond the default settings and the graphics are really nice here. And the gameplay is also really nice. It feels fluid and smooth and the audio is also good. I just like this one because it's so straightforward to play. One thing I will say about this is the first few races are easy to win, but it does become increasingly more challenging the longer you play it. So if you feel the need, the need for speed, then try out Car X Rally. This one is a family friendly side scroller 2D platform game, which involves mastering the double jump and solving puzzles to navigate your way through these bright and colorful levels. It's kind of like a Super Mario game, only you're not an Italian plumber, you're a radish. This game will keep you busy for a minimum of three hours if you're really good at these kinds of games. And something to keep in mind if you do like the look of Daddish and the style of gameplay, if you're going on a longer haul flight, you should probably download episode one and two of Daddish and play them in order. So test this one out. And if you do, let me know in the comments what you think of it. Okay, if you're looking for a game similar to the God of War and something completely opposite to what I just showed you in Daddish 3. You're gonna love this hack and slash game. It's called The Blade of God, and it's got decent graphics. Not only does The Blade of God look epic, it also gives you the ability to level up your character and your weapons as you progress through, but be warned, this game is not for the faint hearted. Some of the finishing moves and sequences when defeating the big bad guys can sometimes be pretty devastating. And those big bad guys to me are just as terrifying as the 2.7 gigabytes of storage that this game takes up on your device. Okay, I'm only joking, the bad guys aren't that terrifying, but that 2.7 gigabytes is for real. So make sure you've got enough space on your phone before you download this one. And if you do have enough storage, trust me, this one is worth it. This beautifully drawn cartoonish side scroller is quite simple to play and certainly a child friendly game. Simply touch the screen to surf upwards and remove your thumb or finger to surf downwards. The idea is to avoid the rocks and catch as many fish and coins and multiplier tokens and power-ups as possible. And when you get good at this one, you'll be doing flip tricks over the rocks and jumps off of the waves. It is great fun and it looks awesome. Although if you crash, you will need to use your credits that you collect in game to buy your way back in. And of course they will try and sell you coins which you can buy with real money but why do that when you can just practice and get better at the game, which is what I recommend you do with any game you play. Okay, just like my tips and tricks videos, I couldn't leave you without a bonus gem. This is Beneath a Steel Sky Remastered. Now, if you wanna know what gaming was like back in the early 90s, this game was a hit back then. Only you needed a massive computer and a monitor and a mouse and a keyboard and some speakers to play it. It is a story-based point and click game with surprisingly captivating audio from the original game. It has been remastered, but the graphics still leave much to be desired. But this game isn't about the graphics. It's not the reason why you'd want to play it. It's the problem solving aspects and the interesting storyline 
that make this one special. And it's these things that made people love it so much back in the 90s. So I'm not gonna talk too much about Beneath a Steel Sky. I don't wanna ruin it for you. I will say this, it is a great way to waste a lot of time because some of the puzzles are pretty difficult. And remember that quote I mentioned earlier about wasting time? That definitely applies to this game. Now listen here real quick. The truth is these are fantastic native to Android and iOS games that you can play offline. But did you know that there are secret ways to play classic retro console games for free on your phone? And if you wanna learn about that, check these thumbnails out that are on screen right now and you will see what I mean. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. If you did, let me know in the comments and I will see you in the next one. Don't be late.